people do come together around a challenge. And uh, climate change is a challenge that is drawing a lot of people back into community and getting active. 30 years ago, we never thought we could have cleaned up the Hudson River. But look at what we've accomplished. Today, looking at climate change, I have hope for what we'll be able to accomplish in the next 30 years. The best vision that I have for the future is that we will, as a society, recognize the value of nature, not just as a scenic landscape or something that makes our world more pleasant, but that we'll actually recognize the value of nature for our quality of life and for the functioning of our entire planet. Well, the future for climate resilience has to involve meaningful participation from everyone. Low income and communities of color have been historically overburdened by environmental issues. Fresh air, clean water, clean soil, the right to walk down the street and not be viewed as some sort of threat, those shouldn't be luxuries. Those are just rights that everybody should have. We respect the individuality of each community and we want to help them create their own visions for the future and realize those visions. So eventually you can kind of tour the Hudson River and see all these different strategies and methods of adapting to climate change, like the beautiful Solaris boat running fully on renewable solar power. When I was involved with the development of Long Dock Park, we would talk about how we're building this place for the 500-year flood, and people would kind of roll their eyes and laugh. Within two years, we had you know, Hurricane Irene, Superstorm Sandy. So this place has, has taken a couple of pretty big hits and has survived really, really well. One of the primary challenges we face as a waterfront community is risks of increased flooding from sea level rise. I would like to see Piermont still be on a map in uh, 2100 and beyond, and that's not a given at this point. I'm also very interested in the natural communities along the river, the tidal wetlands and all of the species, and my hope is that they will, alongside us, be able to adapt to these changes. And I feel like part of the solution is slowing down and just taking that space and time to think about what's really important. And I feel like that kind of a transformation might be where a hopeful future lies. Right now we're working on the Climate Smart becoming a bronze community and uh, that is exciting. I want the grandchildren to be able to go down to the Hudson River and say, yeah, my grandmother helped save this for us. The Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act is a very bold piece of legislation, taking all of New York State's emissions and reducing them by 85% by 2050. My hope of the future, the Hudson of the future, is that the treasures of the Hudson is accessible to everyone, regardless of background. The Hudson River has something for everybody. Climate Smart Communities is a certification program that provides guidance and funding support for local municipalities. Developing a climate adaptation vision is just one step communities can take to adapt to climate change.